In a pivotal Game 7 of the Eastern Conference semifinals, the New York Knicks will clash with the Indiana Pacers at Madison Square Garden. Following their commanding 116-103 victory in Game 6, the Pacers head into this matchup as three-point underdogs, with the total points line set at 209.5. In Game 6, the Pacers showcased their offensive prowess, shooting an impressive 53.8% from the field and connecting on 9 of 26 attempts from beyond the arc. They dominated the boards, grabbing 47 rebounds, including 14 on the offensive glass, and distributed the ball effectively with 35 assists. Defensively, they limited the Knicks to 43.9% shooting from the field. Pascal Siakam was instrumental in the Pacers' Game 6 victory, pouring in 25 points on 52.4% shooting, along with 7 rebounds and 5 assists. Indiana boasts an explosive offense, leading the NBA with an average of 123.3 points per game, while shooting an efficient 50.7% from the field and 37.4% from 3-point range. However, their defense has been suspect, allowing opponents to score an average of 120.2 points per game. On the other side, the Knicks, led by Jalen Brunson's 31 points in Game 6, will look to bounce back and secure a spot in the conference finals. New York boasts a solid defense, ranking second in the NBA in points allowed per game, 108.2, but they will need to improve their shooting efficiency, 46.5% from the field, to counter the Pacers' high-power defense. With a predicted final score of 110 to 107, take New York to cover the spread, minus 3, in what promises to be a thrilling Game 7, and consider betting on the under for the total points line of 209.5. In Game 7 of the Western Conference Semifinals, the Denver Nuggets will host the Minnesota Timberwolves at Ball Arena. Denver enters as 5-point favorites, with the total set at 197.5. The Timberwolves dominated Game 6 with a 115-70 victory, shooting 46.5% from the field and converting 15 of 43-point attempts. They were strong on the boards with 62 rebounds and distributed the ball well with 26 assists. Defensively, they held Denver to just 30.2% shooting. Anthony Edwards was a key contributor for Minnesota, scoring 27 points on 47.1% shooting and adding 4 assists and 4 rebounds. The Timberwolves have a season record of 56-26, averaging 113.0 points per game while shooting 48.5% from the field. Defensively, they allow 106.5 points per game and force 14.2 turnovers per game. Denver, with a 57-25 record, commits 18.2 personal fouls per game and shoots 76.2% from the free-throw line. They average 114.9 points per game and shoot 49.6% from the field. Defensively, they allow 109.6 points per game and force 12.4 turnovers per game. In Game 6, Nikola Jokic led the Nuggets with 22 points and 9 rebounds. Denver allowed Minnesota to shoot 46.5% from the field and 37.5% from 3-point range. With a predicted final score of 115-109, to consider taking Minnesota to cover the spread, plus 5, in what is expected to be a competitive Game 7.